Hey YouTube, I am super excited today. Finally got my package. <clears throat> As you can see, it is a quite large box from Farmer Tech. Anybody want to take any guesses before we open up what's in it? Put them in the comments below. Alright, so we cut the tape off. This is what you'd call a box of parts. What this is, it is a steel MS660 clone kit saw. So, we'll get everything all unboxed, laid out. We'll take a look at it. All right, so when you get your saw kit all unboxed, you have all the parts and pieces of a MS660 here. And everything comes bagged up. Um, the bolts and stuff, nothing was labeled in this one. I've heard other guys say in their kits were labeled. Um, you just kind of got to look at the bolts and count the bolts and see it is coming packs they got thread thread locker on them already so and one thing I thought was interesting is a lot of guys complained about spark plugs that came with these kits. I don't know if you'll be able to see it yet or not but this one comes with an NGK now. So that's really nice. Um so yeah we're gonna get this case get the crank in the case get the case put together uh, maybe get the handle put on it today um, waiting on a piston ring compressor that I just ordered because this is different than the 270. This one you actually need a ring compressor for, so so we'll be waiting on that for a week or so. But we've got a lot to put together before then, so let's get at it. All right, so took and clean these cases up, and then I put oil all in the bearing, oil in the seal, oil on the crank. Uh, your PTO side is the side I'm going to do first. That's the, the longer of the two on your crankshaft. So you just put that in there. And we ordered this tool on eBay, so hopefully it works. That goes on there. Now on the PTO side, this is a reverse thread, so
kind of just keeping a clearance. What I did is I put this case together with the gasket. And I figured out the difference between the two inside faces and the thickness of the crankshaft. And on mine, I came up with about 20, 28 and a half thousandths. So right now I'm just being a little conservative. I'm setting it at like 30 thousandths. I figure I can always put the puller on after they're together to get it all straightened out. But this tool worked really good. Um, I think we're about there with it. So let's take it off and see what it looks like on the on the inside here hopefully it didn't ruin our seal otherwise we'll have to take the seal out and buy new seals but oh yeah looks really good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh permatex moto seal this is made for um, case halves for lawnmower or motorcycles, chainsaws, trimmers, two stroke items. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to put that around this whole mating surface, both sides, put the gasket on, pull the crankshaft through the other side. Um, also, I already have it in, but your oil tube needs to go in and you can see there's a little tab down there that needs to be down in that corner like that there's also a filter you got to put on there it's a lot easier to do before putting these case halves together so we'll get that going next all right so now we got that on and kind of what you're looking for is that machined edge will be shiny when you put it on you want to see that nice dull gray color everywhere um we'll take we'll put some oil down in this bearing put some oil in the seal I just want to make sure I get plenty of oil in this stuff. A dry saw, a new saw like this, when you're assembling it, you can never put too much oil in. Now, this half, you got your alignment pins. Just grab your gasket. Lay that on. Crank started. Gently work those cases together. Now 
that's on there. Oh, we did not have pins aligned right. So before we got too far, Good. Let's take her. can see already I'm gonna have to pull a little more on the other side so let's just give this a little bit more and we'll put the puller back on the other side got six screws to go in there's four around here and two in here and those would just be the standard ones like this so we'll get those put in and we'll get on to the next step now one thing I should note this tool worked really great for assembling this saw um, I got this off of eBay. If you search like MS660 crank installation tool, you will find a guy that's making these and selling them. Um, works awesome. All right, so next we're gonna put in the oiler. This is an adjustable oiler. Um, a lot of people, when they put these together, they always talk about having oil leaks, and I think it's because they forget to put this little rubber bushing in sits down right in this opening here so you just lay it in there just 
your oil pump and your worm drive in. Can you get them in there? You'll need two of these smaller diameter. They're quite considerably smaller. Grab two of those. And just work them down a little bit on each side. It's always the best whenever you're tightening stuff in, especially on a motor, is just to kind of alternate until both sides are tight. That way you know it's drawing down evenly. Now with that adjustability on this case when I was inspecting it, I noticed that where you adjust it down in here, there was a bunch of excess casting in there. So I just took a small file and cleaned it out so that way you can get your screwdriver in there to adjust it. All right, now let's put on, uh, we'll put the clutch on maybe, put the flywheel on, put the AV in, the AV pieces. Um, get the handle put on so we can get the coil put on it. We'll find some more parts here. I'll be right back. All right, so now for your AV pieces. Um, you got one bolt on here with two bolts. You got this little guy in here, which you have to run in through that way. Then you got one down here, one here, and then each here. Um, the two over here, they're the same. This one's a bigger one. This one's a smaller one. What I do is I just take and I put a drop of two-stroke oil on it. Just something to give it a little lubrication. You can use WD-40. You can use whatever you want. And push them in until they seat in. There's a little lip in here that grabs into this lip here. But they go pretty easy. It's pretty cold in here today. I don't have the heat running, but... They're still popping in pretty good, so. It must be in there. All right, now we'll grab the flywheel here. I stuck my flywheel key to the magnet just so I didn't lose it. Now we won't be able to tighten this flywheel in because we don't have the cylinder on yet, but get your key in there. Get your flywheel lined up with that key. Thinking this is the nut for it, but I'm not quite for sure. So we'll try it. Looks like a winner. All right, so next I'll get all the parts out for this chain tensioner. Which there's a lot of talk about that. A lot of a lot of people on the forums and stuff saying that those don't hold up. So, we'll see ya. But I'm thinking that that's... Okay, so the screw for, for holding this plate on was packaged in with the uh, nut for the flywheel on my kit. So, let's grab these parts. Take some of these empty bags out of the way here so I don't start getting stuff mixed together. So what you got is a whole handful of pieces here. 
if you got to assemble. This little rubber O-ring, I guess, goes inside of there. put it down on there first Thread this guy on here first. That sits in there. Nope. See, this is the fun of assembling these guys. There's no instructions come with these, so it's kind of just, I've looked up a lot of videos on YouTube just to kind of see how this gets done. So the metal piece goes in and the plastic piece goes on top of that. But you know what? We're going to take this back apart and we're going to put some grease in there. So, I'm going to go get my can of grease. I'll be right back. All right, so. Just take a little grease. Put some in there. Put some down in there. on the gears kind of rotate everything a little bit Yeah, one screw that goes into this metal plate to hold that assembly in there. Then you got this little black clip that snaps in back here. Now, I think what we'll do is I think we'll attach the handle. I think that's where we're going to call it quits for the day. Now when you 
you're doing this, you have I on this handle. I did. I've got these boots all on already. I did those off camera. But you got your pulse line that goes to your crankcase. Make sure you get that guy on there before you get too far into it. So. Kind of got to work it and eventually it'll come to where it needs to be. Now we just got to figure out the bolts that go into them. So in the front ones here, you'll have these self-tappers because they're going into this plastic piece. In the rear, well, there should be, should be three of the self-tappers and two regular ones. Well, no, there should be four self-tappers. This should be a self-tapper too. Well, I'm going to have to look through my parts, see if I can find the other two. So I'm raising they had them separated into two different bags. Not sure why. Get that greasy rag out of there. Well, I see something I didn't notice on this AV, so I'll have to take this out. Check and make sure all your holes are open before doing this. I noticed one when I was putting it in that the hole wasn't punched all the way out, but I didn't notice there was two of them, so... Yeah. Pull this back out. Well, so we can... line back off now. First bolt must not be all the way out far enough, but I mean, those are all new. It's really tight. It's kind of a little unreal here. Maybe we can take and just get up and out of the way, maybe. Screwdriver here.
Yeah, we got her. It's in there now, so. Have this little grommet here kind of feed through your wires It's a tight fit to get in there. That goes in there for your kill switch wires to come through. And let's see, we got one more. One more AV here to hook up. It's a little bit too long. Let's try a shorter one. The older kits, they used to come labeled, I guess, from what I've seen in other videos that I've watched. I had a few bolts floating around in the bottom of the box when it showed up, so kind of just threw them in a bin, and I figured, well, I'll figure out where they go eventually. So that's kind of what... When I can use them up on a place like this, that's where I find a home for them. There, that one fit nice. So, that's what we got so far. And once we get the cylinder put on, we'll get the clutch in, we'll get the brake in, uh, brake handle, the top handle. And then it's just getting the carburetor coil. And we're going to be ready to rip with it. So if you like the video, guys, throw me some comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, or yeah, Instagram and Facebook at Shrunken Skull Outdoors. Catch you next time.